In this video, we'll find the oxidation numbers for each element here in Al2Cr2O7. This is aluminum dichromate. First off, we don't have a negative or a positive sign up here, so this is a neutral compound. And all the oxidation numbers, they're going to add up to zero. So to find the oxidation numbers, this dichromate here, this is an ion, and it has a 2 minus ionic charge. So you either memorize that or look it up on a table. So the whole thing here has a 2 minus ionic charge. When we have an ion, all the oxidation numbers, they add up to the charge on the ion. So all of these are going to add up to 2 minus. Aluminum, that usually is going to be 3 plus. And that makes sense. 3 times 2 minus, that's 6 minus. 2 times a 3 plus here, that gives us 6 plus. So everything adds up to 0. If we want to find the oxidation number on the chromium here in the dichromate ion, let's just look exclusively at the dichromate ion. So we said the dichromate ion has a 2 minus ionic charge. So all the oxidation numbers here add up to 2 minus. So we can just set up an equation. All of these oxidation numbers will equal this minus 2. Chromium, we don't know. We're going to call that X. But we have two chromiums. And then oxygen, that's always going to be minus 2 with a few exceptions. So we'll have minus 2 and we have 7 oxygens. So we have 2X minus 14 equals a minus 2 we could add 14 to both sides. Then we'd have 2x equals 14 plus minus 2 gives us 12. Divide both sides by 2. x would equal a positive 6. So the oxidation number on each chromium here is plus 6. So that's how we figure that out. And this makes sense because the whole thing has to add up to 2 minus. We said oxygen is minus 2. So 2 times plus 6 is plus 12 minus 14 plus 12 and minus 14 gives us the charge on the ion. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.